In this episode, we're going to talk about why winning by selling your soul is actually losing. I'm Sienna. And I'm Toast. We're partners in love, life, and music. And we've been together since 2001. With each episode of this podcast, our goal is to help our fellow LGBT community members lift their lives to the next level. Hey, everyone, and welcome to this episode. We have to warn you, I think I have had like way too much coffee (laughs) today. We are batching podcast it's, episodes uh-huh, uh-huh. and we haven't batched in a little bit so we're we're batching we're kind of loopy we're kind right of now. loopy we had to go over our notes a few times for this episode and we still don't know what's going to happen but we kind of know what's going to happen but keep listening and we'll keep all find out together let's see what we're going to be doing um but i just have to say that like i i think i had too much coffee okay. so i'm going right. to try and calm down keep that in mind as you myself okay, okay. let's <laughs> Move to notes from the community. And this one is a message. Yes, this message came and we want to send the shout out to Heather. Hey, Heather. Hi, Heather. Hope you're having a great workout. So Heather (laughs) had shared that she listens to the podcast while she's working out on the treadmill. And she said, people watching me must think I'm crazy because I'm working out on the treadmill and just laughing out loud. <laughs> That's Literally great. laughing out loud. So thank you so much, Heather, for listening and tuning in. We truly appreciate it. And not being afraid to just to LOL. laugh. Yes. Just LOL, girl. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for listening. Okay, so you know how we have talked about... Okay, so if you've been following all the podcasts, we've talked about animals coming with messages. Right, the blue jay. The blue jays. We've had a lot of things. Now, maybe we'll save a few things for some future podcasts, but we've had the blue jay. We've had bees and wasps and ants and different... And a slug. And a slug with ball horns. And recently, what was pretty amazing was that just the other night, as we were getting ready for bed, I went into our bathroom, which is on the second story, which is on the house. second story, and I was about to close the bathroom window, and what I saw was a beautiful, bright green grasshopper on our bathroom window screen. screen. A beautiful, I swear, this grasshopper was so beautiful. And he was kind of glowing in the night. Mm -hmm. And he was there. And I said, startling. Oh, my God, Toast. Well, I didn't know they could get up there. Me either. I thought they were just hopping. I thought grasshoppers just hop around in the grass, (laughs) you know, like their name is Grasshopper. Yes. But turns out they fly. Which is a little scary. But this grasshopper was so beautiful. So because... It was such an unusual occurrence. Mm-hmm. I went up to it and I said to him, wow, "Sorry, we're having another siren. We are having it's another just siren. It's in good thoughts, some huh? nice thoughts, healing thoughts mm-hmm. for whatever, wherever that siren is heading." Mm-hmm. <sighs> okay, so I said to the grasshopper, "I said, do you have a message for me?" I'm looking at him. Do you have a message for me? And he was just so cute. Okay. So anyways, we looked up grasshopper and grasshoppers can only jump forward, which I didn't know that. Me neither. They cannot jump backward or sideways. This is why grasshopper is the symbol of good luck all over the world. Grasshopper's ability to connect and understand sound vibrations is why he is also a symbol of your inner voice. He could be telling you to trust yours. Hmm. Isn't that great? And when you asked, when you talked to him, didn't he kind of he moved. do a little move? Yes, he did move. Yeah. yeah, he was really cute. So it's always so cool anyways. to engage with our fellow 
beings. Yes. Yeah. So pay attention. Pay attention, you guys, and let us know if you have any visiting insects or other <laughs> animals. <laughs> you can leave a comment. I know we all bump into our animal world. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Right. You know? We share the world with them. We do. And what's it's their world, really? Like, Yeah. What's been so cool is also, um, you know how when you watch nature shows and then you learn about the animal kingdom and mm-hmm. stuff like that? Mm-hmm. I love being educated and realizing how diverse life on this planet is. There are animals... Oh my God, there are I so never many even animals. heard of before. I know. There are right? so many animals. Like, what is that? Tree kangaroo? Yep. Right? I mean, like, really? For real? A tree kangaroo? Yeah. And the and Asian, so many other... the Asian um, cat, Asian fishing cat. Asian fishing cat. I mean, seriously. Like, it's, it's really refreshing to e- expose myself to all. All of the diversity. Beautiful of life animals. Yes, and beyond. they're so beautiful. Yes. Like the patterns on them. Mm-hmm. If they have horns, mm-hmm. if they have tufts of fur coming from on their the caracol. Ears. The caracol, is that how you pronounce it? The I don't caracol. even know if that's how you pronounce oh it. Oh my gosh. But yeah. I love it. Yeah, I surprised myself. I loved it so much. I, I put the caracol as my screensaver on my phone. His name is Justice. Oh. Is that the name of this one? Yeah. That's really his name. Okay. He's at a re- he's at a sanctuary which um oh that's right in Namibia. Yeah. Right? yeah. He's really handsome. Just I love incredible him. Incredible people. Oh, maybe we can put a picture it. of him. Oh yeah. Right? We, yep. Okay. Yep. We'll do that. So let's make sure we do that. I have to make a note here. Yeah. About that. Make a note. Okay. About Justice. Okay, so Let's move on with the topic. Okay, let's talk about today. what we're going to talk about. Okay, so why is winning at all costs actually losing? Because if the cost is the diminishment of your soul and the diminishment and the debasement of your values and who you are, that is not worth it. <laughs> Right? You're totally right. I mean, if you're going to fight for a certain thing and try to achieve a certain outcome, but you debase your very humanity and those around you, and you end up building a world and a culture that does the same, that is horrible. I'm sorry. I just went so dark there. That's okay. But... So you can take it and bring the light. That's okay. Out. Bring the light. No. Bring the light. <laughs> so we thought this was something important to talk about and address on the podcast because I think that all of us have a relationship in some way, shape, or form with uh, like the law of attraction or manifesting. And those now might be trigger words for some of you <laughs> because you hear about it, it kind of so is for me, much. I, have to admit. I know it's a trigger word for you, Toast. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so it's not just about getting the thing, you know, being in touch with our vision for our lives, being in touch with our dream. All of that is so important, but it's not just about getting from point A to point B. And that's really something that we might intellectually know, yet in our actions, we might be striving and striving and getting and getting, you know, and trying to just get from point A to point B. And, and judge we, others and ourselves. I'm sorry, I'm interrupting. I know you're bringing no, the go, light. Go but I think what you're saying is we might be focused on getting from point A to point B, on achieving the thing, mm-hmm. the goal, mm-hmm. right? And trying to get the outcome and judging ourselves and others based on what appears to be the material the attainment of such right yes yes right but don't do that don't do that (laughs) and you know life truly is so much richer when you have a more holistic view of the journey to your dreams in other words who you become and who you are in the process of building, of building the dream. your dreams, 
is so important. And that's where such a huge opportunity lies for all of us, really. So just to backtrack a little bit, so it is important, first of all, to know what you want. What is your dream? What is the thing you want okay. in your life? But after knowing, like, say, if you want a house, okay, oh, I want a house, and you know exactly the kind of house you want, that is great and all good. Mm -hmm. But having that more holistic view would then encourage you to ask, why do I want that house? What is it? And a lot of times, in fact, almost every time, we look to certain material goods because of how we think it's going to make us feel. Mm -hmm. And it's not that it won't mm -hmm. make us feel that, but I think the power in recognizing the feeling that we hope to get from that thing is to realize we can start feeling that now. Recognizing, yeah, recognizing that that feeling and that identity, right, that mm -hmm. self-identity mm -hmm. is something that needs to come from within in order to be a more conscious, evolved, mature, I'm right. searching for a word, but to be right. that person, it's something that you carry with you. Because as you gave that example about the house, what came to my mind is that so many of us uh, want not necessarily even a material thing, but we want some kind of status. And we think the material thing is going to confer that status on right. us, right? Right. Yeah. So I think it Right. There, there's material things, but there's also these intangibles, but it all does, I think, exactly They're all so enmeshed with each other. Yeah, and it, it, it all points to, it all leads to, I think it does lead to in, intangibles in the sense of it's how we think those things will make us feel yes. about ourselves, yes. about our life, about our identity. Yes. Yeah. And here's the thing. Say so we if we just keep going with the house example. Okay. Right? So say I want, oh, I know I want this craftsman home. I want to have four bedrooms, two bathrooms, I'm gonna have a fully finished basement. And some of you might know, and again I hope this doesn't trigger you, that in manifesting, you do want to be very clear about what you want. Okay. Okay, you wanna to have to actually see it, but also know the feeling of it. So if I can identify and go beyond just, I want the craftsman's, craftsman home, four bedroom, two bath, finished basement. If I can go beyond that and go, okay, why do I want this house? And why do I want it this large and all these things? Well, maybe after taking more of a holistic view and really checking in, it's that I want my family to be able to visit and stay with me and have a place to stay anytime. I want to own this home so that, because I moved around as a child a lot. So I'm looking to create roots and a place where I can actually feel secure. So really, I might be after a feeling of security, a feeling of safety. So once I get to the core feeling, then it's for me, this is actually the key to the kingdom here is when you can get to that core feeling, then if you can start to cultivate those feelings of security and safety within yourself before getting the craftsman home mm -hmm. and not depend on that outside thing to elicit that feeling. Yeah. That is part of the becoming. Mm. And then the cherry on top becomes then you get the thing. <laughs> <laughs> that becomes the cherry on top of it. Mm. And the Sunday is who you become. And you are now, without the, without the house, you are now, this, you have this security within yourself. You've cultivated it within yourself. But now that you have matched the vibration of that security and that safety, and now you are realizing, I'm fine without the cherry. Bing, there goes the cherry. Hmm. Now you find, you meet someone, you find, you meet this great realtor from this event that you were called to go to because you're listening, you're paying attention. You are listening to that, that uh, if you want to call it God, universe, you go to the thing, the person says, oh gosh, yeah, I'm a realtor and they have a house and it's exactly the house and so on and so forth. We've heard a lot of those stories. They're always inspiring and they're, tr they're real, they're real stories of 
what can happen when we take a more holistic view of the process of attaining our dreams. And in this way of approaching attaining dreams, yes, the whole project of building the dream and pursuing the dream, the whole project is really a project of building and strengthening you. Yes, totally. Okay. Yes. Okay. I'm taking it in. <laughs> I'm coming. I'm, I'm with you. I'm tracking. I'm tracking with you. But see, okay, so but now. But see, exactly what you said. That's exactly it. So we have these longings, okay. right? We have these longings of like, oh, I want to do this with my life. You know, whatever kind of a dream it is, we have these longings. But these longings, it's not to get from point A to point B. The longings Only. at the end of the day are really to become more of who you're meant to be. And the dream is the process in which, the attainment of that dream is the process in which we become more of who we are meant to be and who we know we are. Because we are we already are. Right. You know, mm-hmm. it's really I just about... Mean. Yep. It's taking, acting it out. Off. It's living yeah. it out as a human flesh and blood yes. manifested, incarnate Who we are thing. already... <laughs> exists right but it's the becoming it's taking off those layers right what's really true of me take off those layers those things we tell ourselves the conditioning the old paradigms that no longer serve us let's just take all that off Mm. and then what's left that's who we really are so it is okay to want what you want but what's even better is to know and go deeper into why do I want that? Mm-hmm. And what do I think it's going to make me? How do I think it, that's going to make me feel? And who do I think I can become with that? And why? And do I really need that? And ultimately, ultimately, at the end of the day, it's really realizing you don't need that thing to make you feel how you think it's going to make you feel. But you do need to be the person that. Willing to look. The person willing to look and the person who obviously is being called by the life force, by the divine to become more. Yes. Right? I think that's what's fascinating is that aspiration mm-hmm. is a human thing. That's what makes yes. us human. Yes. And it's kind of irritating sometimes. <laughs> Right. Because if you didn't have if we didn't have aspirations, Mm -hmm. then in many ways, life would be easier because you'd be you'd be satisfied with whatever you wouldn't Mm -hmm. have a longing for more or you wouldn't have a sense of dissatisfaction with things because you wouldn't have any aspirations. Yeah. But the glorious thing is that aspirations are an expression that's it's a divine expression of the life force in us it and total, yes, yes toast yep and yes it can get twisted yes oh yes go ahead what were you gonna no. say we're making all these so we're making all these hand motions to each other because i've had too much caffeine oh okay, okay. so <laughs> i just i just want to say that what you just said is huge so you're saying Amen. Yes, that it is that was the your divine. Hand. That was your hand to me going, Amen. Yes. It is the divine that is the longing mm-hmm. in us. That is, longing is the yes. divine speaking through us. That's right. That's the life force. But people think, people tend to have this misconception mm-hmm. that what they want is purely coming from them, their humanness. But their aspirations are coming from the divine, from God, okay. from All the right. universe. All right. All right. I hear you. you know? I, hear, I hear you. And there is more to talk about with that. Well, so, you know, as we're just touching to, the surface, to aspire surface here. And to inspire, yeah. right? Inspiration, mm-hmm. the root word of that is the, the aspire. Aspiration, isn't that breath, mm-hmm. right? Which is related to that's the divine breath. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. 
And what you said, okay, we're just going off on this episode. I kind of like it. We're just kind of going all over the place, but yet all centered it's around all a certain thing. It's okay. all related. What you said about sometimes we uh, assume that our wants or aspirations are purely human. Mm-hmm. I think there is a nuance there because I think aspiration and the fact that aspiration exists Mm -hmm. is an expression of the divine for sure, right? Straight from the divine. I think when we as human beings are not so conscious, Mm -hmm. right? We don't apply our, the gift of consciousness and awareness and insight to things. Yeah. Yeah. Then we feel that aspiration and our ego uh, can twist it around. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Right? I agree, yep. Can just be like, I want a red sports car because then the girls will think I'm something. And, and then I, I need a girl because that's going to make me feel more important. Like that's a twisting of, <laughs> of the aspiration to feel important right, and worthy. Right and to and to feel like I have significance mm-hmm. and I can I have the power to make an impact yeah. on other people and the world for good yeah and I'm only bringing that up to try and bring it full circle mm-hmm. to that idea of winning yeah which is shorthand for pursuing your dreams right winning a- achieving a certain outcome. I think when we, again, don't pay attention to the consciousness of the desire to win, the desire to achieve a certain outcome, when we just want to win at all costs, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. then too often those costs include the heart and soul of other people. Yeah. Right? Our own humanity. Your own heart and soul. Right. And that's mm-hmm. the saddest thing. And that's why, you know, when they say, I mean, there's so many examples of people that we hear about who have three houses, oh a jet, um, about 13 all these houses. cars, all these things and things and things. So you can say that they have attained things. Mm-hmm. But yet you find out they're unhappy, you know, Um, or they're still not satisfied with something. And they are looking to, and I'm just making a sweeping statement, in general, I think in a lot of those situations, they're looking to the things to make them feel a certain way Mm -hmm. instead of doing the work of the process of becoming and growing as a human being growing in your spirituality, Mm -hmm. remembering that part of yourself and merging that with your humanness. It sure seems like that, you know, to me. It, yeah, that's what it seems like to me. And I think that's like, so if we take, say if we take person A and then person B, right? Okay. So person A. Bert and Ernie. Oh, no, No. not Bert and Ernie. Or Ernie and Bert. Isn't that how it is? They live together. Bert and Ernie are a gay couple and they live together. (laughs) So they wouldn't be happy. Okay, person A. (laughs) Person A. Person A knows their want. I want that house. I'm just going to get that house. No matter what it takes, I'm going to just get that house. I'm going to work 80 hours a week. I'm just going to get that house. And they get the house. And then they get the house. And they realize, I'm not happy. Loser. (laughs) Right. Sad. Person B goes, hmm, I feel like I feel so drawn to that house. You know what? I want that house. Okay. Hmm. Why? I wonder why, why do I want that house? Like I only really need two bedrooms, one bathroom. Why is it that I would want a four bedroom, two bath house? Why? Oh, you know what? I think it's because I really want to have a place for my family to come visit and stay without having the expense of a hotel. So this is a way that I can actually share and serve family. 
I also want to have a place where my friends can come for Thanksgivings and to really have Thanksgivings, to really have um, a spacious place to entertain and to commune together and share in this. So this is a way I can also share. And really, I think if I really were to look deep, because I moved around so much as a kid and had so many different houses, I want to root somewhere. I want to own my own home and know that, hey, this is it for me. And I love that because I feel like I can root, create my own um, community, neighborhood, love my neighbors, really create roots and friendships and family right where I am and build memories in this one home. And that, at the end of the day, is what I want because that will make me feel secure. Mm -hmm. And just by acknowledging that, person B starts to realize, you know what? I'm wanting to feel secure. I'm missing this feeling in my life. How can I start to feel secure now without that house? Well, maybe I can start doing the things that I think that ho- that only that house can provide. You know what? Let's do a mini Friendsgiving in our tiny current house. Let's do that. Let's enjoy that. So I do that. Person B does that and has an expansive moment. Look, that was great. I didn't need the four bedroom, two bath house. Mm. You know? And they, and they so experience start to cultivate, themselves as cultivate a certain, the, as the person that with they the know four they bedroom, are. Two ba- <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So it's really cultivating that. And they start to vibrate on the level of that security, the feeling they think that house is good. So mm. look at that person B, and then they get the house. And now here's the thing. Whether they get the four-bedroom, two-bath house, or a three-bedroom, one-bath house, or a five-bedroom, three-bath house, whatever it is, they manifest a home that they can root in that provides a sense of security that is able to show up in the material world because they have been vibrating, meaning their energetic frequency is on the level of that security that sharing with the friends, the warmth of the home, they already started to cultivate that vibration and frequency in their current circumstance. And person B gets the house, they are happy. Winner, winner, tofu dinner. Tofurky dinner. (laughs) Oh, chicken, no. Chicken dinner. Yes. Yes. It can be that kind. <laughs> That's how they write it on those vegetarian menus, right? Chicken. It's not chicken. It's chicken. Chicken. <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yes. All right. Anyways. All right. Okay. Person A. Maybe they get what they want after, you know, busting their tail or stepping on other people and being nasty to others. And I'm sorry, I'm getting all dark again. Yeah, I mean, they don't necessarily have to be nasty to people, but maybe they just skim the surface and they just want point A to point B, which is just really, I just want that. It doesn't mean they're stepping, but they're not taking full advantage of the opportunity to become and to look deeper. They're just skimming the surface. Mm -hmm. And yet, like your point, Mm -hmm. there are people who will step on people, who will jump off of people's backs, all of that stuff. Who will so, lie, cheat, and steal to get yeah. what they want. And they get what they want. Yeah. On one Sometimes level. On one level. On one level. Right. But, but they're think, unsatisfied, and that's the thing. Right. And I think, but I think what all of our souls want is on mm. a and is, is on a deeper level. Such a so, deeper hey, level. So, hey, let's do both. Yes. Let's do the soul level. Person B, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Right. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So, huh, let's just wrap this up. And... You know, just remember that there's actually two opposing forces at all times within us. Because we are in a world of duality. Yes. Right? Hot, cold, light, dark, north, south. There's a part of us that wants to hold us back and a part of us that wants to move us forward. Mm -hmm. So if you saw yourself in both, hey, I can identify with person A and person B. Yeah, I, I feel like I can. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Absolutely All me of too. us can, I guess. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yes. It's those two opposing forces at play here. 
but just realize that the part that wants to move you forward is the part that wants you to grow. Because when we say to become, right. it's the becoming, right. to grow and move forward. That in the, all ways. When in we all say ways, move in a forward, holistic, right, yeah. in a holistic way. So right. it's not just about getting the house. Right. It's not one step forward, one step back. Exactly. Yeah. The part that wants to hold us back is maybe the part that's more doubtful, the part that closes things off and it's just so completely house driven only on the material, very surface level, mm-hmm. or even and we didn't address this, the part that thinks, I can't even get the house. So therefore, I'm not going to want the house. Mm-hmm. You know, the part that wants to hold us back are, it's all the old belief systems that we still have lingering around. Sure, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's our life work to, to acknowledge it's our and life, deal with them. And yes, it's evolve. our life work to yeah. really acknowledge them, to create new belief systems that are, that are more aligned with who we are becoming. So I think really in closing, it's recognizing these two opposing forces Mm -hmm. and allowing the part that wants to move us forward, allowing that part of you to truly win, to let that be the winner. Right. Throwing ourselves in on the side of let's move forward. Yes. Let's let's not just take one step forward and one step back. Let's take a step forward Mm -hmm. and another step forward. Yeah. Yeah. And even if they're teeny tiny little steps. Right. It's totally fine. It's all in You're the right direction. Forward. That's right. <laughs> and that, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. All right. Okay. So that is it for this episode. Now, special announcement. We should have put this at the top. If you are listening to this, if we're catching you before October 19th, mm-hmm. we have a special survey that we would love if you take. Yes. It's going to take you a minute. We made it super short on purpose. So you could do it really fast. One to fast. two minutes. Okay, if you're a slow reader, it might take you two minutes. <laughs> and everybody who submits their survey before the 19th. Or by, I think, by on the 19th, Friday the 19th. Okay, so Friday the 19th. Get mm-hmm. it in on or before Friday the 19th because we're going to put everybody's emails or names into a hat. Mm-hmm. And whoever's name we draw out, we're going to give them a gift card to Amazon, a $50 Yay. gift card. So basically what this survey is is to help serve you better. And that's all I'll say. (laughs) Just click the link. (laughs) Take a minute. Thank you. Okay. So until next time, this is Sienna. And this is Toast telling you, reminding you, encouraging you, love, love.